If knee arthritis has left you knock kneed or bow legged, then this video could be a game changer for you. I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'll share one surprisingly effective tip to help relieve knee arthritis pain when walking. About 70 to 80 percent of knee arthritis cases affect the medial compartment or inner compartment of the knee. You can also have arthritis in the lateral compartment or outer compartment, but that's far less common. When you have joint space loss on the inner side of the knee, it can cause a bow-legged deformity, especially if it gets more severe. This is known medically as a varus deformity, but most people just call it bow-legged. Conversely, if you've lost joint space on the outer compartment or lateral compartment of your knee, it can cause a knock knee deformity. But there's a third type of deformity that you can have that's more common than people realize. Most people with knee arthritis are used to seeing x-rays like these, but they're probably less used to seeing x-rays like these that show the downstream effect. And when you have a varus deformity or a bow-legged deformity, it changes the angulation of your lower legs or your tibia and fibula. That effectively changes the orientation of your ankle joint. And so instead of the ankle axis being basically horizontal to the floor, it becomes slightly at an angle. What that does is makes the position of your foot somewhat pointed inward like this. Again, if you have a bow-legged deformity. And as a result, when you go to take a step, you still need to get your foot flat down on the floor to be able to push off of your big toe when you take a step. What that can do is cause a pronation at the subtalar joint in your ankle. That's a joint that crosses three planes and causes an internal rotation going in that way of your legs. This is hard to see in a two-dimensional video, but when you internally rotate your legs this way, combined with slight knee flexion, it looks like a valgus deformity or a knock knee deformity. There's a name for that called pseudovalgus, meaning it's not a real valgus deformity, but it looks that way. So if you have a bow-legged or varus deformity or a pseudovalgus deformity, here's a tip that you can use to help walk more comfortably. When you're walking, you still need to get contact of your big toe on the floor in order to push off of it. But if you don't want to cause that internal rotation, which can cause more twisting at the knee joint and further wear down on the joint surfaces, if you think about gripping the ground with your toes like this, it helps give you a post to push off of so that you can take a step and push off of your big toe without collapsing into that pseudo valgus deformity. Now, if you have a varus or bow legged deformity, using that same tip can help you compensate for the new orientation of your leg and help prevent that internal rotation that happens to cause further wearing down of the knee joint. Now, there are additional tips that you can use, such as wearing orthotics, particularly high arch orthotics that are going to bring the ground up to your foot. So instead of your foot having to move down to meet the ground, you change the orientation of the ground relative to your foot. Now, sometimes using just an over-the-counter high arch orthotic can work, but there are certain cases where you need a custom orthotic in order to post up underneath the big toe and effectively turn the whole foot up in that direction. There are other options to help as well if you have either a valgus or a varus deformity of your knees. There are braces called unloader braces, which are designed to press against the curve and bring your knee back into more of a neutral straight up and down position. And there are advantages and disadvantages to those. The advantage is it does gap the part of the knee where you have a joint space loss. The disadvantage is it can also put more stress on the other part of the knee. Furthermore, the braces are kind of big and bulky and they're not incredibly comfortable to wear. Here's another variation of a knee unloader brace that actually unloads 
both compartments of the knee at the same time. I've got another video that I'll link to that shows how to use this as well as the advantages of this brace. I'll also put a link down to this product in the description below the video. So what do you do if you have the opposite problem? If you have a lateral joint space loss in a true valgus or knock knee deformity? Well, in that case, the concept is gonna be the same, but the tip is gonna be exactly the opposite. So you still want to accommodate to the new position of the knee and the ankle joint. But instead of putting the weight on the outer side of the foot, you're now gonna put the weight on the inner side of the foot. So hopefully that tip was helpful to help you walk more comfortably if you have a valgus, varus, or pseudovalgus deformity of your knee. Now, if you do need more help to walk with knee arthritis and you're in the St. Louis area, we'd be happy to help you out here at More for Life. And if you'd like more information on knee unloader braces or high arch orthotics, you can check out these videos over here. But before you go, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.